Okay, so in the past videos, we've gone over one by one, and then two by two, and three by three um, long addition problems. Here, we're going to try a four by four, and then a larger problem to see if we get the hang of this. Okay, so what about a four by four? Let's try 9,876 plus 5,987. What do we do? Well, we line them up, of course, in long addition. We line the ones up, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. And we start at the right. So we add 6 plus 7. What's 6 plus 7? Well, that's just 13. And we start to carry. The 3 stays in the ones place, and the 1 goes in the tens place. And next, I have 80 and 70 and 1, or 10. But I can think of it as 8 plus 7 plus 1. What's that equal? Well, 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 1, 16. Now, though, that was 80 and 70 and 10, so the 16 is different from the first 13. This 1 really belongs in the hundreds column, and this 6 really belongs in the tens column. So we put the 6 here, and the 1 up here. So it's almost like carrying a 16, but moved over to the left once more, because the sum is 10 times larger than 16. So it goes once to the left. And now we have 100 plus 800 plus 900. But you can think of it as 1 plus 8 plus 9. 9 and 1 are 10. 8 more is 18. But this 18 is enormous. The 8 really represents 8 100. And here, the 1 really represents 1,000. Which brings us to our last column, where we have 1,000 plus 9,000 plus 5,000, but we can think of it as 1 plus 9 plus 5. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So what, is this, what does this represent? Well, we added 1,000 plus 9,000 plus 5,000, so this really represents, right, 15,000. So we put the 5 in the thousands place, and the 1 in the next place value, which is the 10 thousandths place. And that's our answer. Let's try one more. What if I had something fun like, let's try this, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, plus, let's try 9, do I make it larger? 9, 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 8, 9, 9. Okay. Now these large numbers, it's really important to line them up. Because when we begin to carry, right, first we had 9 plus 1. That gives us 10. We don't want to lose track. In the next column, we had 1 plus 2 plus 9, which is really in the tens place. So it's 10 plus 20 plus 90, and that is equal to 12. But this 12 is really 120. So the 2 goes in the tens place, and the 1 goes in the hundreds place. And now we have to add 1 plus 3 plus 8. What does that equal? Well, again, it equals 12, except this 2 now sits here, and the 1 comes up here. So this 2 really represents the number of hundreds, and this represents the number of thousands. And next we have... 1 plus 4 plus 5, that's kind of like 5 and 5, which is 10. So what we do is put a 0 here in the thousands place, and a 1 up here in the ten thousands place. Right? This is moving down the chain to the left. And again, we have the same sum, 1 plus 4 plus 5, and we'll get 10. But that 10 is even larger. It's 10 times larger, right? That zero represents the ten thousands place, and the one represents the hundred thousands place. And now in this column, it says one plus six plus one, which is eight. So we just put an eight here in the hundred thousands place, and then we move on. Seven plus two is nine. That's the millions place value, right? Keep track of it with commas. Eight and three. What's eight plus three? That's just eleven. But this 11 is a rather large number. The first one is in the 10 millionth place. The second one 
is in the hundred millions place. So notice we dealt with hundreds of millions by just thinking of 8 plus 3, which in my opinion is pretty cool. Now last, we have 9 plus 9 plus 1. Well, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 9 more is 19. So that 19, we have the 9 in the hundred millions place, but there's nowhere to put the 1, so we put it in the billions place, right? There's nothing else to add it to. So we found an answer, 1 billion. 919,800,220. And notice again, we just line up and add, and, and here I hope this problem gave you a good sense of how carrying works. All right.